Once upon a time, two devoted sweethearts set out on a summer afternoon to enjoy the sunshine, the warm breeze, and the pleasure of each other's company. Mickey and Minnie were so happy that they were certain everyone must feel the same. <laughs> But alas, joy is not found in all hearts. Where there should be love and kindness, there is jealousy and anger. The witch, Miserable, had such a heart, one filled with darkness and envy. Oh dear! Aw, it's okay, Minnie. I bet the sun will be back in a jiffy. Mickey's wish was not to be. The day turned to night and the skies thundered with ill will and fury. Yikes! In the brief moment that Mickey closed his eyes against the bright flash of lightning, his happiness was shattered. <laughs> Minnie! The evil witch Miserable had kidnapped Minnie. The old crone had always been jealous of the mouse's beauty. Now, she would rob her of it. <laughs> you have until it's gone. Isn't that right? No, no! And give her back! <laughs> As Miserable took to the skies with his beloved Minnie, Mickey knew he had to act fast. Oh! Mickey, save me! Running with all his might, he chased the witch through the forest. <laughs> Mickey scampered and scurried all the way to... The Castle of Illusion. Ominous and terrifying, the castle stood out against the skyline like a shadow from a horrible nightmare. Lost and alone, what was Mickey to do? Luckily, fate intervened in the guise of a mysterious old mouse. Caution, lad, for Miserable's plans are truly wicked. Using a magic spell, she intends to steal Minnie's youth and beauty. Your sweetheart will be left as hideous as the witch is now, and her heart will contain only hatred and anger. Oh no! Uh, how can I save her? What do I do? You must find the seven rainbow gems that will create the fabled Rainbow Bridge. It will take you to where Minnie is being held. But beware the gem keepers. They are Miserable's prime ministers of misery and won't give up their treasures easily. Gems? Gem keepers? Got it! Wait, where do I find them? within Miserable's Castle of Illusion. But beware, young mouse. The witch has created strange worlds and bizarre creatures to prevent you from reaching her. Each gem is guarded by one of Miserable's Masters of Illusion. Defeat them to claim your prize. And remember, use great caution. Mickey did not take the old mouse's words lightly. He thanked him and rushed to the castle gates. The Castle of Illusion was Miserable's twisted playground of trickery and peril. Nothing there was as it seemed. The toy soldier guards were proud and regimental, but to a mouse on a mission, they were mere stepping stones to higher things. Into the castle entryway strode the mouse with the heart of a great lion, though his knees felt more like those of a frightened kitten. Hmm, 
wonder what's behind this door. Mickey crossed the threshold and emerged once again into the forest. But it was changed somehow. This wasn't the pastoral wood he remembered. he would need a way to defend himself, Mickey remembered how accurate he always was in the annual apple throwing contest back home. Post was created by Miserable, so of course it had a mischievous streak. Hmm. Sure wish that signpost would make up its mind. <laughs> Gosh, which way should I go? Suddenly, Mickey was in another part of the wood. Were these gigantic trees, or had Mickey been shrunk? Mickey found himself back in the clearing and back to his original size. He knew he was closer to Miserable now. The very air around him tingled with mischief and danger. Mm. Mm. Oh. Ah. Oh. 
Miserable taunted Mickey with her cruel laugh, but perhaps she was secretly worried about how close he was getting. With the frights and sprites of the forest behind him, Mickey faced the next part of his quest with renewed courage. Ah, the grumpy old oak tree. Like all of Miserable's illusions, he was no friend to Mickey. Yeah! Yeah! 
the red rainbow gem was finally his. Now it was time for our hero to move on. Exploring the castle halls, Mickey now had one of the rainbow gems that would help him save Minnie. But he knew there were more to find, and the Masters of Illusion would not give them up without a fight. Mickey emerged into a toy box of peril, another of the witch's illusions. to move quickly and carefully, for the cards weren't playing fairly. Now, Mickey knew how it felt to be a rabbit in a magic act.
Mickey moved onward into the land of toys. But these playthings were somewhat less than playful. Hero wasn't sure if he was upside down, downside up, or a bit of both. He hadn't quite succeeded, but in a topsy turvy world, there was always room for one more turn.
Into a new corner of the Castle of Illusion ran Mickey. But what was that odd green box? But what was that odd green box? It seemed chillingly familiar. The Jack in the Box, of course! rainbow gem. Mickey's heart swelled with renewed hope, but the quest to save Minnie was far from over. The second rainbow gem was safely gathered, but Mickey had no time to congratulate himself. Another five gems and Minnie were yet to be found. As Mickey surveyed this new world, he noticed colossal storm clouds gathering in the skies. Hopefully the rain would hold off long enough for him to make it back to the castle.
deep underground, Mickey wondered what sort of subterranean strangeness he was about to encounter. As Mickey swung past the giant carved duck, he remembered Donald's advice on adventures. As Mickey swung past the giant carved duck, he remembered Donald's advice on adventures. Never have them. Mickey swung past the giant carved duck. He remembered Donald's advice on adventures. Never have them. Mickey wasn't sure just how deep underground he was, 
But the next rainbow gem had to be there somewhere. giant splash, Mickey plunged into the underwater depths of a creepy cave system, teeming with hungry skellyfish. The deeper Mickey went into the ruins, the more sure he was that something or someone was watching him. Mickey darted hither and yon for safety, but found none. Suddenly, the entire chamber flooded. Had our hero's luck finally run out? You see, this was the lair of the third master of illusion. seeing double? No, there truly were two of them.
Mickey wondered if there were an entire gang of these green-killed guppies. The yellow rainbow gem. Reward indeed for such courage and cunning. Mickey thought of Minnie. Once he had all the gems, he'd build a rainbow bridge straight to his sweetheart. Ms. Rebel was surely shaking in her boots by now. Mickey had the third rainbow gem, and he was determined to get the other four. Mickey found himself in a giant library, but he knew Ms. Rebel's books and bookworms were penning a not-so-happy ending for him. Something about that shadow seemed awfully familiar. Mickey was in a realm of dangerous delights and scrumptious scares. All around was a sea of ice-cold milkshake, but not the sort one wanted to dive into. Oh! 
the only safe way to cross was hopping from cookie to cookie. The fourth rainbow gem was there for the taking. Hey you! I mean, me! Stop! Shadow Mickey snuck up behind our hero, grabbed the gem, and made a culinary escape. Usually, Mickey enjoyed tea, but he might just stick to orange juice from now on. Mickey had the distinct feeling he was being lured into a trap. The green rainbow gem was his. Mickey'd endured a lot of taunting from his pesky shadow, 
so he couldn't resist doing a little taunting of his own. Himself for the next sugar-coated shock from this confectionery world. He didn't have long to wait. A gigantic red licorice dragon emerged from the melted ice cream. This was the fourth master of illusion. rainbow gem in hand. There were only two more to find. And then Mickey could search for the most precious jewel of all, his sweetheart, Minnie. <laughs> Mickey had managed to secure both the fourth and fifth rainbow gems. But was he running out of time? Could he still get to Minnie before it was too late? Mickey chanced upon an enchanted mirror. In its reflection, he saw himself, but wearing far more magical clothes. His heart pounding, Mickey raced into the castle hall, only to be met by another of Miserabelle's illusions, enchanted suits of armor. Yup, not as much. These suits aren't very suitable. Mickey traveled deeper into the castle dungeons. He knew he had to get those last two gems as quickly as he could.
The wonders in the treasure room were marvelous to behold, but none more so than the indigo gem. With the sixth gem found, <laughs> Mickey began to feel that maybe it was Miserable's time that was running out. Miserable wasn't playing by any rules now, thought Mickey, as he tumbled into a pitch black castle corridor. Hey, but where'd the lights go? Gloop was far more dangerous than it looked. Emerging from the dungeon, Mickey raced into the clock tower. Having once been a clock cleaner, he knew the moving parts were dangerous. He'd have to be very careful as he made his way to the top.
top of the clock tower, Mickey thought the danger of being squished was finally over. Unfortunately, he'd thought wrong. The oafish clockmaker was the final master of illusion. was at an end. The final violet gem was Mickey's. Next stop, Minnie. <laughs> Finally, Mickey had acquired all the rainbow gems. Now he could cross the rainbow bridge and save his dearest Minnie. to the castle battlements raced Mickey. An eerie chill overcame him as he beheld the tall tower he knew was the heart of Miserable's power.
there's no way that old witch is gonna hurt my mini! Mickey too late to save his beloved Minnie? Or was there still hope? was dazed, but for how long? Suddenly, Mickey had an idea. What if he launched the rainbow gem at the witch? It might be his one and only chance. Take that! Time seemed to freeze for a moment before the gem burst into a cascade of rainbow light. 
filling every inch of the tower. No! But I wanted to be the fairest of them all! It was the cruel witch's turn to be trapped and powerless, encased in the spreading light. The terrible spell was broken. Minnie was free at last, and Miserable wilted and shriveled back to her true form. Minnie threw her arms around Mickey, and as he hugged her, he vowed never to let her go again. Oh, the gym! Mickey, what's happening? The castle was crumbling, but Mickey couldn't see a way out. What was this? Ms. Rebel was helping them escape. Mickey didn't have time to consider if this was another trick. Whoa. Mickey and Minnie each held on to a broomstick and flew for their lives. <laughs> Ms. Rebel had wisdom enough to know when she was defeated and why that was so. She had learned that there's a magic more powerful than any she had ever used. Mickey and Minnie knew it well. And even after what she had put them through, they shared its secrets with her. Now, Miserable's heart was filled with a different kind of magic. The magic of love. Aww. Oh. Ah. Aww. <laughs> now, where were we? The end. <laughs>